In this video, I'm going to go over some lesser known sports code keyboard shortcuts. Now on our support pages, we have this handy one pager of keyboard shortcuts in sports code, not only for sports code, but also for Mac. However, sports code is such a large product and you can do so many things that we couldn't fit all of the sports code shortcuts on one page. So I'm going to go through some of the lesser known ones that I use every day. So the first one is sometimes you'll open up a timeline package and it will look a little wonky. So like the video won't be attached to the timeline, maybe the video will be over the timeline and you want to adjust it to your screen. So what you can actually do with the timeline selected is if you hold down shift command period, and I'm going to put all of these shortcuts by the way in the description below. But if I hold down shift command period, it's going to adjust that timeline to my screen. Now, if I keep clicking shift command period, it's going to make the video bigger and the timeline smaller. Now, if I go shift command comma, it's going to make the timeline bigger and the video smaller. Either way, it's going to adjust it to your screen and you can kind of adjust whether you want the video small and the timeline big or the video big and the timeline small You can kind of filter between those two options. Next one I want to talk about is if you have an instance and you want to edit a label, if I right click that instance and go to the label tree here, if I want to edit a label and let's say shot location and I want to deselect um, paint, if I click paint it's going to close the label tree and if I want to go back into it to then edit a label I have to go back through that same process. Now that's okay if you're just fixing one label but if you're doing multiple labels that can be a real pain. So what you can do instead is that if you're hovering over a label in the label tree, you can click just the command key on your keyboard and you can select and deselect those labels. Again, you don't have to click your mouse, just the command key on your keyboard. So that's really useful again when you're doing things like maybe changing a lineup, you can just quickly select and deselect certain players um, in the label tree. Next one I want to talk about when we're talking about labels is how to remove labels in label mode. So sometimes you'll be using label mode and you might accidentally add a label to an entire row or an entire population or sample of instances. So let's go into label mode here, select my row of offense and click my label here. I've accidentally now labeled every instance in this row and we can see that in the sorter here with this label. Now what you can do to remove that is that again in label mode if you have those instances selected what you can do is you can hold down shift option command and then click that label again and it's now removed that label from these instances. So now when I again go back into the sorter I can see those instances uh, from those instances that label is now gone. Next shortcut I want to talk about is how to stack instances. So if I have two instances open, so here's one, here's two, what I can do is I can go to the same moment in both instances. So let's go to the same moment that the ball goes through the hoop. Let's go there and let's go here. When I have two instances like this open, what I can do is I can click Command Y. And that is going to stack those instances. It's going to stack those at that stacking point. So now I can see and compare these two instances at the same moment. Now basketball might not be the best example for this, but for Olympic sports, so for things like um, you know shot put or discus or even for sports like golf, um, soccer, rugby, anything that has like a singular action that is evolved with technique, something like the stacking instances to compare um, actions and biomechanics and things like that might be very helpful. Command Y with the stack instances. Last one I want to talk about is aligning instances in the timeline. So if I have a timeline here and I want to um, import an XML and then make sure that my instances are aligned with the actual game events, what I can do is I can go to the time uh, a point in the timeline that I think the game starts Again, this is not the game starting, this is my example. And I can click Option Z. That's going to move every instance on the timeline to my playhead. So again, drag my playhead, 
option Z, move all the instances there. Option X will move just the instances to the right. So if I come to a point here at like half time, and I don't want to move these first half instances, just the second half, I can click option X, and it'll move just the instances to the right hand side to my playhead. Now I can hold down option X, and I could drag my playhead and move all of these instances at once.